the vast majority of formatting options we have on power bi visuals can be formatted conditionally by conditionally it simply means that the same format is not going to be applied to every element on the chart rather it's going to be selective based on certain conditions so what we are going to try to apply to this our average uh, of sales by day name which i think we we'll actually need to change the title for is we want to kind of like create a gradient of colors that is going to go from the lowest uh, sales to the highest sales in such a way that the higher ones are going to have darker colors, the lower ones are going to have lighter colors. So we are going to apply conditional formatting to achieve that. So when I select this chart, I'm going to go, let me change the title first, right? So I'll go to format and I'll go to general and I will want to change the title from this. I will prefer to call this average sales by day of week okay now that's taken care of i will go back to the visual tab in my formatting section and i want to go to the columns so for the columns you can see the default color is what it is but that's not what i want i want the colors to be different based on a gradient of how high and how low the numbers are so how to apply conditional formatting is to click on the FX button. You will easily see that if I go to another section of the report, say I go to data labels, for example, and I just put on data labels, I'm going to put it back off. You will see that when I go over to the value side, you can see that the color also has an FX, right? The FX button allows you to add conditional formatting. So I want to pull back off these data labels and I want to go over to my columns. So I will expand the colors here. I don't want to use the default. I want to use a conditional formatting. So when I click on the FX button, conditional formatting has different options. There is a gradient. If you click on the drop down, you will see that you can also use certain rules and you can also use the values that you have within the column. So that when the value in the column happens to be something, maybe you just want to format Mondays, for example. So we we'll say if the value is Monday, let it apply a color. Or if we're going to use rules, we can say if the amount is less than a certain amount, let certain colors be applied. But we want to use a gradient now. So I'm going to stay on gradient. And the field that this is going to be based on is not going to be uh, the count of day name. Rather, this is supposed to be based on the average of sales. So I'm going to go to look for sales. And because the summarization we are using now is average, so I'm going to change this from sum to average. And then I just want to change um, the theme of the colors from this uh, lighter blue ones to the one within the darker blue section. So I want to select the lightest color to be this one, and I want the deepest color to be the darker blue. So when I click OK, we are going to have this. Now, the benefit of having it like this also is that we'll also get to see the range of average sales. Our sales basically range in average between $216.30 to $259.68, which you will see much more clearly when we move into focus mode. And we can also see also that we have, you know, uh, on the average Tuesdays and Fridays have more uh, selling values. Wednesdays is also included in that as well.